All right, we're back at the bench here. We're gonna go ahead and measure the cylinder real quick, uh, just the walls. Visually, it's perfect. I mean, there's not a, there's not a mark in it. Uh, I mean, there's no hash marks, no, it's, it's perfectly smooth. It, it looks great. Looks like it's brand new on the inside. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure some different points just to see if we're in spec. Now the maximum of 54.09 is our surface limit maximum. So what I'm doing is just gonna measure some different points. So you can see 53.4. See here. 53.9, let me measure that one again. Fifty-three point eight nine. Fifty-three point eight nine. So let's do that all around. Again, we're well within spec. Do the same thing for the bottom. Fifty-three point eight six. 53.87 and what I do I move it a little bit just to make sure I've got the lump the 53.89 to make sure I've got got it centered so if you just put it like this well that's going to be real short because I don't you know I'm, I'm not in the center of the cylinder so we're good that is perfect now what I also have done is there is a, a ring gap that you want to measure as well so here's the ring and you'll see, this is the gap they're talking about in between those two little points right there. And the way I do that is go ahead and put it in the cylinder. I do top and bottom. You really don't have to. You want to do the most worn end. So, I can already see. Let's make sure this is straight. I'm not looking at the big gap, I'm looking at the little gap where the two essentially touch. Uh, not quite, but they are. Let me check the ring gap, what it should be. So, 0.165. So you don't get much gap there, but... Let's see, that would be, that's a little bigger than 0.165. Let me make sure. Not the big gap, but the small gap. Because 0.165 is not very, very large. That was the groove gap. So 0 0.90. So we're going to set our calipers to 0 0.90. Sorry for that slight pause. So we're at 0 0.90 right here. And I'll just line it up. That's within spec. I can just tell visually. So the ring looks good. Actually, I don't have to. We've already measured the bottom, so we're good there. So we don't need a ring. Next, we can measure the piston. Um, I'm not going to take you over to do that, but essentially, the piston, I would do the same way with the calipers. So I'm going to measure that, and then we'll have one last part of this today, and then uh, we'll uh, make some more here soon. So stay tuned.